The Elizabeth Line opens in full in November, linking east to west. And today we are going to go through it for your viewing pleasure. So welcome aboard the Class 345 for through running. What a day today. Today is really <laughs> exciting because this, the Elizabeth Line, is the line that should never really have been built. It links east and west, different train signalling systems, different trains, tunnels, blah, blah, blah. But it's happened and in November, the whole thing is going to open up freely. So I can go from Abbey Wood to Reading or somewhere else to Gidea Park or wherever. It's going to be amazing. Mm. It is, but we get to do it first, don't we? Yeah. So we're going to magically transport ourselves uh, to the west of the city, mm -hmm. it's going to be miles to experience through running. And we and should interview, uh, just say hello to a few people because this is Scott. Scott is adorable, right? Scott makes everything happen. This is Keith. Keith is adorable. He makes everything happen. <laughs> this is Sham. Sham is adorable. He makes everything happen. And this is City Holloway, who, is... if I remember correctly, aren't you the voice of the train <laughs> oh, yes. in the museum? In the museum. No, this alas, may get not... mentioned a couple yeah. of times in this episode. <laughs> Sorry, I'm quite proud of that work, actually. <laughs> it's on a LinkedIn, it's fine. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to go west by the wonders of modern technology. Chris Bourbon Lee's on camera. Hello, lovely man. It's nice to have you back. And we're going to join the train at Paddington. But before that, we're going to plunge down. Right, okay, you look as if you're going shopping. You look as if you're going shopping. We're actually going Got on the, the train. Cam. Let's do but it, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, on, everybody, let's get on this thing. Hey, right? Hello, man. Nice to Back see you. <laughs> nice to see you. You see, first of all, this is Sham Hi, today. Hi, Sham. Nice to meet you. Sham is fabulous. We're just going to invade. Go in there, go in there. I'm going to get this. Put that bags in there. This is so good. <gasps> look at this. We've got a train to ourselves. Whole train. This is like what I dreamed of as a kid, to have a whole Imagine train, a train to myself. Of, uh, the Hidden London Hangouts train. Sham's going to drive us under London. Can I rent this for my birthday party? <laughs> You've got that many friends. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's huge. I mean, we'd invite everyone who watches the Hangouts, of course. Oh, that would be such a great Christmas party, wouldn't it? All <laughs> aboard the Hidden London Hangouts train. So today, Sibbles, because mm. you didn't get a chance last time, we decided we were going to do the swoosh under London, so we're going to go down under London, back out the other side, yep. west to east, east to west, it's going to be great. Keith, Ooh. our lovely driver manager, is looking after Sham as well. Nixie's up the front sorting his camera out. We've got oh Chris Bevan Lee with the other camera. I'm so glad to have him back. We've got Scott, Scott. my little penfold. He's here looking after everybody. <laughs> and we have a train to ourselves, which is just so cool. This is incredible. Now, I wasn't here last time. Um, and you know you know, in the, in the museum, we have a simulator of this train that has the voice of yours truly. Voice so this is really, you know, coming full circle now. Should I go, next station is... <gasps> Great. So, <laughs> as you can see through here, guys, because this is a, effectively a split screen program today, we are going through. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is incredible. Wow. Is it, it, are we allowed to sort of. I can just take a glass off for a minute because I'm old. Oh, look. This is, this is too good for words. It's awesome here, isn't it? So, fortunately, we've got a little camera running. So, we'll have that all the way through. I'm just, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This is so much better than I imagined as a driver's eye view of it. Hello, Sham, nice Hi, to see you. It's a lovely uh, close-up there on my uh, wow. camera of your uh, paws on your face. It's great. Um, look at it. It's incredible. It's like the best film ever, isn't it? It is. We've um, we've been asked before about the you know how much room is there in the cab, and the answer is quite a lot. There's room for what 1,500 people back yeah, there, 1,500, yeah. and uh, plus another at least five up here. Was it something? Well, it's quite funny because City just mentioned that is it possible to do a Christmas party for all the hidden London hangout viewers <laughs> on one of these empty trains? And to be honest, Scott wow. blanched when we said that. So He's like, Scott no. is in charge. Look at that view as well. Can we get that as well? Look, the lights are off in the train. Oh my God, that that's. Really spooky. Cool. 
I love the fact that we've completely gone fangirl on this. This is just ridiculous, isn't Look it? Look how spooky that is. Could do a little Halloween special in here. I mean, Whoa, I'm just oh, coming oh, up with oh. all sorts of things that's making Scott doing. just faint. I've got to grow up. I have to grow up. This is just too much. Oh. There's Bond Street, guys. Yep. Now, excitedly, everyone, this is going to be opening next week. And if you're interested in seeing the episode that we filmed in Bond Street, well before it was finished, you can find that on YouTube as well. So we've had a look around here. And Bond Street's another beautiful station, isn't it? It really is. It's going to make my use of the Elizabeth line so much more convenient. So I'm really excited for that. It's gorgeous. And yeah. of course, then we get to Tottenham Court Road. And as I say, look at the... I'm quite staggered by the view. It's... You know, you know when you're on the DLR yeah. and, you, and you're a bit of a train driver on the DLR and that's quite exciting, isn't it? But to be in here doing it, this is even better. I know, this is so incredible. Truly, truly exciting. Oh, oh, look at that. All the more mysterious. Oh my goodness. Does it feel like you're on a roller coaster sometimes? It does. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's like... <laughs> Thought Park here. Just when you come to the top here, you'll see the train. See, we've got the train in front, see the red light reflecting oh, and there's yeah. the train in front. Oh, look. So you'll see how close we get. We get to 40 meters. Wow. And I have to say, by the way, Sham is doing a lovely job driving this train today. <laughs> and in, a, in coming weeks, there is what I can only describe as the Keith and Sham show, <laughs> which is going to be on before Christmas on one of the Hangouts. Because didn't we, Chris? We had a yeah, really lovely day. Yeah, because our, our, our uh, viewers haven't yet met Sham on screen <laughs> until today. <laughs> no, but Sham but we is have. well worth meeting. Look at that. That is so cool. So this one's like a long cost. Yeah. And then just so once that one's clear of the other side of the platform, we'll move through. So we don't want to stop in the platform, you see. Yeah, of course. Well, it's, come oh, along, it's, it's, come, it's come a long way though. We used to do testing. We just stopped there. Do you remember keeping We did, yeah. Just roll back. Roll back. All the testing we did. Oh, God. All the testing that no one realised oh. what we were doing underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Well, remember when, um, remember when we were visiting these sites when they were just being, you know, fitted out? I remember when we saw some of these doors being fitted, Chris, remember yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. And do you notice the curve of Tottenham Court Road yeah. here, which we don't get on in the other stations. It's really, really cool. Isn't I it? think Emma was saying that's the reason it was one of her favourites, wasn't yeah. it? Is that it's got the curve, so it's that bit different. Ooh, and the speed map. Oh, that does feel like a <laughs> roller coaster. <laughs> Except nobody's throwing up yet, yeah. and uh, so you're you want to go faster. <laughs> raise popcorn. your raise your hands, everyone. So <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. It's great, isn't it? How it's much do you want exactly. to run all the way to the end of? <laughs> I won't, I won't. Yeah, no. <laughs> we, just, we all just need to grow up. You know how we often talk about uh, the old Edwardian tubes following the road and therefore yeah. having lots of curves in them? Yeah. Given that Crossrail didn't have to strictly follow roads, it's, there are an awful lot of bends, aren't there? Yeah, there, there are. are. <laughs> there are, but there's a lot and more inclines. things underground now. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. true. It's, so it's the foundations of the build, buildings, tall buildings that it's avoiding now, isn't it? Services, services etc. Yeah. I never forget that program that was on telly. They were talked about the intricacy of designing Tottenham Court Road and the fact that it comes so close to the northern line, the actual running tunnels. Are yeah. So well, it's the closest and, at Liverpool Street, and, actually. And also, if you think about it, you've got no, centre point as well, haven't yeah. you? Which uh, I presume has very deep foundations, or at least I believe it does. You poke you in the eye when you stand on the northern line <laughs> platform. Oh, so you've road. got a. Oh, theodolite in the in the uh, tunnel there. Presumably it's there's like some laser targets. Thing. Yeah. Wow. I have to say it's quite so a treat as well. So this is your well. acknowledgement. So you're having to vigilance here. Yeah, vigilance thing. <laughs> I remember it. This is exciting. Is that a sign? No, no, that is our no. yes. crossover yeah. to the opposite yeah. running tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. So there's one here, which is a That's trailing vigilance. crossover, yeah. and there's one at White Chapel, yeah. which is a facing yeah. crossover. Yeah. So you'll see that. Yeah. We have one of these, um, a driving simulator for kids in the museum. Oh, nice. And I did the voice for it. For Probably about, <laughs> it must have been four or five years ago now. Yeah, yeah, at least, yeah. Um, and it's like, press the vigilance pedal or the vigilance button <laughs> to let them train. You've actually got a vacancy, uh, Sham, for um, a, a, an honorary driver at the museum <laughs> who sits okay. there all day, every day, yep. teaching children. So if you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we should volunteer, Sham, shouldn't we? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boys, come I'll on, I'll give back to society. I'll, I'll In more back. than driving trains. <laughs> 
So I noticed we just went past a bright white light on the right hand side and a little sign saying cross passage. Yes. Yes. Uh, Kate, can you tell us what that's all about? So that will take you through into the opposite running tunnel and they're every 500 metres apart. So say we had the unfortunate incident of a train failing in this tunnel, we can walk through the cross passage and another train will come the other way and pick us up. Wow. Brilliant. So you don't have to walk all the way no. down that, uh, yeah, walk that all platform the way to the next on the station. right yeah, <laughs> to get to the next station. <laughs> Oh, there's quite wow. a distance between the two, aren't there? TCR and, um, and Farringdon. Yeah. Down the districts. And of course, the track around Farringdon has got that spring system underneath yes, it, hasn't it? To make it centre. very quiet and not oh. transmit yeah, all so the rumble sprung, up into so we the don't barbican. Have vibration going up. Yeah. You know, we've we talked before about just how quiet this line is, and yeah. I, I I can't think of another train yeah. where I could have a conversation That's this true. quiet. That's true. <laughs> so it's a railway line on a mattress, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I mean, the the springs are just like that. I mean, it's almost pockets, bro. Is it? Yeah. Memory wow. foam. <laughs> oh, so many memories. Um, Sherm, is that to, for you to uh, charge your phone here? It puts electric fire on. <laughs> <laughs> An espresso machine. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't talk not, about not, coffee in cabs. Not when oh, Alex. Not, after not the again. Not again. Not again. <laughs> I was, we were knee deep in it last time. It was awful. So that plug is for laptops to be plugged into. Oh. When engineers are checking the train out. Not, not for like staff a, for checking no, the email. Well. No, 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 like no. a, uh, you took your car to the garage. Well, well, no, well, well, <laughs> we just plug a laptop in here. And you can see the red oh, lights that now. That was train accidental. Front, which is on the platform at Liverpool Street. It just mirrors the tunnel got even wider here. No, it's all exactly yeah. the same. Right, I just. But I think it's all that curve. red light reflecting in the curve. Yeah. Ooh. Fair enough. Then by the way, feel the length. Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Look at that. And you can see oh, us keeping gosh. that 40 metres apart now, which is the moving block system. That one's going it's out. So close, isn't it? Yeah. But we will right, stop but just entirely this safe. Time. This is so exciting. So, <laughs> just to explain the moving block there, so uh, the an old signalling system would have had fixed signalling distances yep. which were quite wide in order to yep. make sure that no matter what the trains were doing they'd be able to stop in time within that fixed distance. But the moving block system is one where a central computer knows the parameters of how fast the train in front is moving, braking capabilities of the one behind it, and so can vary that length yeah. of the braking distance. And the minimum we get down to is 40 metres. 40 miles. So <laughs> that is that's not far at all. You think how long the platforms are at 240 metres yeah. each and platform. And the key thing with that is about the possibility of future expansion and getting greater yeah. train frequency yeah. as we can pack the central a lot more trains yeah. together. And then now we're going to the dip off the platform. Whee! <laughs> and this presumably is where wow. we will see after Liverpool Street we will go left instead of right. Ah, we've got Whitechapel first. Oh, of course we have, yeah, yeah Whitechapel. Yeah, Whitechapel station first. Whee! <laughs> and then you'll go down the tunnel that you've not been down at all yet. Oh God, he loves it. Know? <laughs> <laughs> he presumes. Well, I'm presuming he's not been down the tunnel at Whitechapel. Well, all I, I, could, I worked at Whitechapel for a very long time. Yeah. My radio career began really at Whitechapel. I was National Radio Presenter of the Year when I was a hospital radio presenter, you know. Wow. Do you know that nice. symbol? That's an accolade. He doesn't mention Did it very often, what? though. <laughs> Mum's got that certificate, I can promise you. <laughs> Good work. Hospital Radio Proud Presenter mother. of the Year. Yeah, it was a great way of getting the NHS waiting list down. Listen to me, you want to leave hospital. <laughs> this one goes out to Beryl in bed number 32. Yes. <laughs> That's good. John on <laughs> floor three stops stealing dessert. One question you never ask, how are you? <laughs> or indeed talk about what complaints they've got. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Hoping that Jim's knobby so, styles get better by next week. So yep. there's blue and um, yellow, that's a signal I would imagine. It's a block marker post, so we've got no signals. Oh, because it's all, oh operating gosh. Sections. When you're talking about that, you mean this blue and yellow. Yeah, yeah, this thing here. XR, not what we normally think of. Yeah. Interesting. Do you know what XR stands for? Do you tell me? No. Have a guess. Extra room. 
<laughs> cross rail. Oh! oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> that, that should have been obvious, really. Did you really? feel bad when Lunch was being stolen by peak. Extinction Rebellion? Wow. I, I'm amazed That's by that, Chris. Brilliant. I mean, the, the way that we... Look this is that. to aid acceleration of braking, isn't it? Yeah, but so... this kind of feels like you're dipping down into it, doesn't it? So, so we that, dip down going out. So yeah, that was a oh, feature built weird. into the very earliest tubes, where yes. you, you rise up as you come into the station, and that converts all of the kinetic forward energy into potential energy by lifting the train up, yeah. and then as you leave the station, it drop. You can see even from here, it drops down, yeah, and that converts that, that forward potential forward energy back into kinetic forward, forward uh, energy. And it's a design feature yeah. of the Victoria line. Wasn't well, it? yeah. yeah. It, if you think about early trains, they were horribly underpowered. Well. Uh, you know, primitive yeah. electric technology, and so that was a way of boosting the acceleration yeah. and yeah. using the braking. Yeah. But it's actually brilliant. A way of saving energy all round. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's one of the reasons that the tube and crossrail are some of the most efficient forms of power transport you can find. I'm so, I'm so glad you said that, Chris, because up until now, frankly, this was just an anorak's joyful <laughs> giggle. Of right. So you've just made it actually a worthwhile educational. Uh, this can come out of the education budget now. Wait. Oh, so now we're going to go into a different tunnel. Thanks. Yes. So uh, Alex has apparently been on. lighted section. This is the, the so this is tell me Keith when this we go into the tunnel exciting. that you think I've never been in before. <laughs> I should tell if you, you flag that you've not been into the tunnel, I'll flag it up. You can flag that for me. This will be a virgin tunnel for you. <laughs> God. <laughs> nice tunnels. It's like no everyone's quite. to the driver which way we're gonna go. Wow. So, so it's just a lot of in the middle. <laughs> and we're coming up now. So you see we're oh, gonna go whoa, left. Oh, 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 oh crazy! Cool. Look at this! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that is incredible! <laughs> it's like, <can> you, <laughs> that's like something out of Metropolis Street Racing. It's sort of a driving game, isn't it? So kind sorry, my pants are wet. <laughs> that's amazing! God, you can't, you can't take Alex into a cab without spilling something. Last time it was coffee. <laughs> Change your pants, Mr. Yes, Blessing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in your tunnel now? I am. This is brand new, isn't it? This is very brand exciting. New. Do you reckon you can get high by underwear? Is there any <laughs> oh, I'm sure there is. I don't know. That would be necessary. YMCA. I think, I think my Auntie Gina could sew some. I think <laughs> that would be all right. Com. <laughs> we're supposed to be getting. We're supposed to be getting Keith a new high vi He quite likes yeah, the look of mine. Really? Yeah. We need to get him isn't one from that. Isn't it the wrong branding, though? What, sir? No, it's, okay. it's not fussy. That's all right, yeah. Fussy. Wow, this is very straight and it very is long. Compared to the rest of the not often yeah. you say that, isn't it? Well, not the present company included. Because <laughs> they show the, often show the finest command of the English language to say nothing. Wow. wow. That is... So, you watch the speed we come out. If we've got a perceived aspect that is a growl, wow. we'll come out very fast. Taking <gasps> that corner at 62, that's incredible. It's so smooth. <laughs> Do you know, I've been wanting to do this since the first time we got to ride on one of these trains. Oh, boys, thank uh, you so much for letting us come. <laughs> right. Well, it's, it's Keith, Sham, Chris and Scott. Scott is just kudos to Scott. He is such a star. Look at this. So we're starting to climb up now, look. Ooh, More daylight. We're daylight. 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 So in a minute, the first colour light signal now. Coming up. And this is because we're rejoining the network rail yeah. system. So, the, oh, it's that double yellow, is it? Double yellow. What does that mean? It's that's caution. caution. Mm. Preliminary caution. Preliminary caution. Oh, look. Whoa! Oh, oh man. man. And so, how. Oh. So, it's only, uh, well, earlier this summer when we were travelling with Emma that we came speeding past that on the line yeah. to our left, didn't we? When no, we came out of Liverpool Street. <laughs> Here we are indeed, are we? Uh, how <laughs> lovely. This is. Come on, boys. Remarkable. <laughs> Selfage. I'm just. I can't believe we have our own train. <laughs> this is just too. I, I feel this it needs to be our new rider from here on, really. Yeah. As that, uh, not happening unless we get. Do you remember our that train kind of old the trains when they used to give them names? Uh, what do you reckon this one's called? Well, I was trying to think of a word that we could we, we could call this for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Train almost. We could always say. Amateur hour. Amateur hour. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, look, you managed to do a one take uh, from Paddington without need for bleeping. That's I mean, right, it's so amazing. <laughs> anyone would think I worked in a rather large broadcast for many years. <laughs> would they? <laughs> Some good. would say. Yeah. This is so cool. So cool. So what we've basically just witnessed is the railway that could should never have been possible being possible. Yeah, and as of uh, when it opens on the 6th, people will be able to do that for themselves and not have to change at Liverpool Street. I'm very excited at the reaction that we showed on camera to our excitement when the tunnel <laughs> split. That is, a, I think it's possibly one of my uh, favourite moments of the Hangouts ever. I, 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 I personally can't wait to balance off the levels for that in <laughs> yes, edit. <laughs> and you I'm guessing why, it's going to peak. <laughs> yeah, you wonder why my microphone, I always poke it downwards. Yeah, it's better that way. Your excitement and your microphone peaked. I love it. A fit of peak. <clears throat> On the street is the 24th. <laughs> so Monday. Monday. Yeah. And then literally two weeks after that. He's <gasps> got his horn now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sham. Yeah, I'm hoping that when you watch this with your children, they just sit there and say, Daddy, what does that mean? <laughs> and you can say, I don't know. There's a naughty man in the camera. Wow. Always fun when you catch it. Too cool. Too, too cool. <laughs> and it's so nice to have met even more lovely people. So right. now there's uh, obviously the Sham and Keith show before Christmas. It's going to be fantastic. Yep. I think at some point we need to say a very special thank you to Scott in a way that only maybe we can work out before Christmas. What, like just dragging him into the cab because he's right behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Put your head Come over on. It's a, it's your head over the back, Scott. <laughs> it's Look at that. You came it's like, a, it's like a Hitchcock moment. What our viewers don't know is this we is... have this man to thank for all of the cool stuff yeah. that we've been able to do just uh, with the Elizabeth mm. line. So thanks Absolutely very much brilliant. again. You're very well. He's such a, such a sweetheart. And of course, this is the, the madness. When we were last on this line, you saw in one of the previous episodes uh, with Keith, that Sham is now completely in charge of this train. So when Sham is doing these knobs and buttons, he can't speak to us. So it's like he's not here. He's doing the business. And Keith is his spokesperson. Yep. <laughs> knobs and buttons. Yeah. That's what it comes down to, folks. Why would anybody think that we're naughty? I mean... I no think it's a really, really bad accusation to make. I think it's... I mean, people have only got themselves to blame for yeah. their own dirty minds. Maybe it's because they've watched the show. <laughs> yeah, good uh, but yeah, you'll get to see uh, Keith and Sham in their own little show. Our patrons will get to see that first. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, the special <laughs> Christmas present. Laurel and Hardy, <laughs> Keith and Sham. Very funny. With a wave. Well, that's it. Yeah, wave. Got to we'll attract the to attention to do a wave. Then. We'll get used to it now. That's fabulous. Just gonna. I remember when I was doing the um, voice for the the simulator, and one of the hardest things was to do that was something like, "There is a problem with the pentagraph on top of the train. Please press." And then there was like a pentagraph thing. Oh yeah, you go pan up, pan down. Pretty accurate, Chris. Yeah. Your little, your little futures engineer. Did you manage to get your panograph up? City? I did. Did you? How did so you we've got an unusual signal. Oh we're yes. Past the red with two little white lights. Look. I kind got. Get the feeling it was a good idea for Keith to interrupt that. Actually, yeah. it's getting a bit rude. I um, got. Uh, I got it up <coughs> by giving it my proper attention. And I think. I think. I think <laughs> we need to. I think sorry. we need to. Uh, to so do sorry. the explanation of the term pantograph. It's not. It's the, it's not the, a chart of your boxer shorts. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's the metal thing that that uh, conducts the electricity on the top of the train, isn't it? Correct. 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 It is, yes. And the wires are called catenary, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, the whole assembly, I think, is yeah, catenary. catenary yeah. Yeah. Or not catenary, as I thought it's, it was for many years. You see how you've got that kind of supporting wire that goes in the, the, the loop, yeah. uh, sorry, in a, sort of in a dip, because mm. a wire will then inevitably sag, but you want the pickup wire to be straight and horizontal, so 
the um, you have to have that whole patina assembly there to support the wire to be more straight. I would um, more weight, straight. More straight. Weight at the end on pulleys to mm. keep it yes. taut. Yes. I mean, it's, it's a shame that we don't get dodging cars because when I saw those wires at the top, I was hoping there would be like dodging cars coming through, but that's not going to happen. Do you reckon we're tall enough for the ride? Sleep. So this is where trains go sleeping. Yeah, and they little rest until they go out in the evening peak this afternoon. This is, I, I, I feel a tourist. We're all going to tourist this. Take we, a are. Photo. we are. Do you know, I still can't get used to it. These are long distance lenses on these uh, glasses. And I still keep looking at my screen up close and thinking, why is my phone blurring everything? It's my glasses. For us that have worn glasses since we were eight years old, I wish I had that problem. <laughs> I'm still getting used to them. I will get. I will get used to all this. I might even go. I might even go buy actually. Um, really? I think that's. That you go that's, buy. Uh, that's yeah, unexpected. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that. They take a bit of getting used to. I think the idea is basically if you look I think down, you very, can see close up coming. Is that very right? might be your, very focal might be a way mm. forward. Do you not like the idea of a semi lunar? That was the idea of it. Could just be. Well, there anyway, we go. That was we good. We have it? arrived. Special. Get out of here. Oh, I know. Very I, excited. I do like the fact it. that the trains have the little roundel on the bonnet. Yeah, yeah that is lovely. nice. It's a nice touch. It's lovely. Sham, you were amazing. <laughs> what <laughs> great driving! Very so cool. Driving. You enjoyed it? Yeah, we it was did. great. So what happens for the rest of the day for you then? Do you, are you I'll going work. back into passenger service? Yeah, I've got hour break. I'll take it empty back to the Street and nice. come back to Nice. Nice. What are you going to do? Are you working? Are you back Two. on the job? Yes. Three a book. Okay. And all being well, 6th of November. Everybody gets to do that. It's just so cool. They will do. It's so cool. Right. Yeah. Not long to wait. Good well, three weeks. Yeah. Well, thanks yeah. for letting us. Yeah, we'll thanks for letting us first. come with. Well, Not a problem. If you have even half the end, well, the enjoyment of using this line that we've just had, then you're gonna love <laughs> okay. this my line. It's full service. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite moment coming up to that splitter and all of us going like. <laughs> it's really quite tragic, wasn't it? Is it? Oh, did Inevitable I really do that? Tragic. Did I really just do that? It's great. Thank you so much to Scott. Thank, thank you, Scott. Sham, and also to Keith, Keith and, and Chris Bevan Lee, and uh, to you for watching. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. us usual deal. You've got Alex Grundon, Chris Nick, City Holloway, Hidden London Law, and at LT Museum on Instagram. Find us on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we're going to do something really cool next week. Have yourself a great day. And, and stay, stay safe. safe. They do it for me now.